This next one is imposter number two. And um, we'll go through it sequentially again. And we see that there's ST elevation in two, uh, not in three, but we do see ST elevation in AVF. Um, nothing in V1, but we have ST elevation in V2, in V3, in V4, in V5, in V6, in 1, and very subtle, but in AVL as well. Now here's the problem, and here's why it's so important to understand the ECG in relation to the coronary vessels. Remember we said that the inferior leads, uh, the inferior wall of the left ventricle leads 2, 3, and AVF are fed by the RCA in uh, most of the population. Um, so ST elevation in those leads would suggest an occlusion of the RCA. Um, ST elevation in V2 through V4 would suggest occlusion of the LAD. ST elevation in V5, V6, 1, and AVL would, would suggest occlusion of the circumflex. Now, here's the reality. You cannot occlude your RCA, LAD, circumflex, and live to have a cardiogram, or at least it's extremely, extremely unlikely. So again, here's where the clinical presentation is very important. Uh, this particular case was a 19-year-old who'd had um, a fever and a cough for about three weeks and uh, a bit of pneumonia. And um, uh, where we see ST elevation diffusely across all the ECG leads, this is classical of a pericarditis. So this patient had a pericarditis. So we want to auscultate heart sounds again uh, as well in, in this case because there may be, uh, you know, a, a pericardial friction rub. Um, you know, there may be a bit of a pericardial effusion causing muffled heart sounds. And, but the history is, is really key here. Um, the other instance where a pericarditis sometimes happens is in patients who are four to six weeks post-MI. So maybe they've had their infarct and they've gone home and now they're calling for an ambulance again four to six weeks later and they're having some chest discomfort. And it may in fact be chest discomfort fairly consistent with acute MI. But to see ST elevation diffusely across all the leads uh, is, is much, much more likely to be pericarditis than MI because we, as I say, we don't include our RCA or LAD in a circumflex uh, and generally live to, to have that happen. So uh, this is a pericarditis.